Hello Javad is here in this video I'm going to show you how I approach to shop drawing a beam in Revit I will tell you the strips that will make your work faster and let's learn how we can do that I'm going to do this uh, shop drawing according to a drawing that I have for one of the projects and it is shopped and it is uh, with full details but I'm going just to explain one beam for you but the other ones are same so i'm doing i'm gonna do the beam 7 one in here which in plan in is here in this one in this span this one and this one and i brought the plan in here and i made the columns and beams in here and the second step that i do is to create a section along the beam or beams that i want to place rebars in and then in each span i will create another section to be able to control them from this side too for example let's go to this let's go to this section that we have and in here you can see i have made some changes you can see the sections in here i've done some uh things in here for example i've uh, turned on the crop region and also i've drawn some in, uh, lines in here that i'm going to explain to you it depends on the code or on the design that you are using uh, for your rebar design but for example for this project in beam 7 you can see we have stirps in here and also in here the stirps that are uh, near to the column are with different spaces for example uh, number 10 at the space of 100 millimeter and after 1.20 meter we will have a surface with uh, a space of 200 millimeter so that's the line that I've drawn because and also we have some uh, additional uh, additional rebars in here or auxiliary uh, reinforce uh, rebars in here that I want to model them according to these references so the lines that you are seeing in my section is are them and uh, we have I have specified all of them and also we have another line in here which with a uh, space of about 50 millimeter to the face of the column and that's the place that our strip price placement will start and it will continue from here and again so those are some references that i want to use for this one for the first uh, thing that i want to do i want to do place the main rebars top rebars and bo uh, bottom rebars let's go to the section in here and this is the beam that we are placing rebars in and let's go and select the beam and let's go to the rebars I don't want to save the project okay bring the rebars and I want to use this rebar in here with a 90 degree hook and I want to have three of them let's put it on fixed number and three and that's fine and for here I want them like this I will uh, override the hook lens don't worry about the hook lens and for the size I want them to be 16 so that's fine and let's place them in here and let's go to 3d and let's go to the wireframe and let's see them in here and let me select all of them and in here I want to override the hook lens let's uh, check this uh, option in here and then let's put it on maybe 150 and 150 for that for each side okay that's great let's go to the section that we have let's go to here and let's go to this section for the beam I want to have these uh, rebars from here along to the ending and uh, last one which one is here which is here okay now let's just mirror this in the section that we have for the bottom side dm for draw mirror axis uh draw axis mirror and now let's just mirror them on the bottom so let's go to 3d and now we have our main rebars in here and now let's place our strips along the way okay let's go to the uh, section that we have again let's select this one and uh, let's go to the rebar and i want to use these ones that's great and i just want one and it's gonna be parallel to work plane and that's fine and for the uh, size it's gonna be 10 so it will be smaller and 
I'm going to place the uh, hooks in here. You can switch the hook placement with the space. And now that's the place that I want to place. And now you can see the uh, the, the top uh, rebars adjusted themselves with the syrup, but the bottom zone didn't. So let me just bring them up. And now let's drag them a little bit in here and in here. Okay, that's fine. Now let's go to the section we had and let's see the strip that we placed. Let me select it. And now let's go to the placement. Make sure to put it on maximum spacing and let's put it on 100. Now for the placement, I want to start the placement from this line to this line. And then I want just to select it and mirror it on the other side of this beam. Let's press SM for a snap to middle. And now we have the we have the rebars in here too. I just want to create a copy from this in the, at the middle, but before uh, ex extending the region of this to here, I want to tell you some one tip. If I would extend it from here to here and here to here, you will have duplicate strips around here and here, and your scheduling will be wrong. So before doing anything, you need to select the rebar set and then uncheck these options in here. You have the reference, but you don't have any strobe at there. And, and and with that tip, you can uh, you, you don't need to worry about the multiple strips. Now let's just place it in here and in here. And for the space, it's gonna be 200 millimeter. And now you can see this is the right detail for our first beam. And for the second one and the third one, I have another tip for you. If you have Revit 2023, you can do this very easily. Just select the strips in here. And then we have, another, we have a new option in Revit 2023, which is Propagate Rebar. And then select the face of the existing beam. And then select the face of the face of the other host that you want to place the exact uh, rebars in there too. Let me select this one and select this one too and just click on finish. The only thing you need to do is to adjust the references. For example, this part is right, but for this part, I need to adjust it again. That's the only thing that you need to do, but it is much faster in comparison with the old ways that we had to copy or we had to uh, do so much manual work. Okay, that's great. We have the main uh, bars and also we have the main strips around the model. And the other, the only thing that is remain is our additional rebars that we have in here and in here, and also in here and in here and in here. How we can place them, but before that, let me show you. Uh, because in this section, they are, uh, because it is AutoCAD, they have drawn it under this one, but it is not under that and it's alongside them. So let's go to the section one, for example, you can see the placement of the additional rebars in here. You can see they are different for these uh, 20 uh, radius. Okay, let's go to the Revit again. And uh, let's go to this section we have in here. I want to bring my section to this part and now let's create a rebar for ourselves. But before that, let's go to the section and in here, let's place our sections. Let's select this one and let's go to the rebar again. I want to place a straight rebar and then I will modify it to the need, to the thing that I need. Let's go just place a straight rebar. And because, the, yeah, I know there are four, but because we have, when we put it on four, on fixed number and four, we can change the layout of them because in the design, let me put it on current and perpendicular part. You can see we can change the layout of it because I have two uh, additional rebars between these two and another two additional rebars between these two. So I have to place them one by one. That's the uh, tedious part, but that's the thing that we need to do. So for here, I have to place it on single and for the size of it, let's put it on 90. I don't want to create another 20, so I will use just 90. Let's put it, place it, let's place it in here. I'm not going to copy it right now because I want to 
give it a hook and then I will do the process for ourselves. Let's go to the side section that we have. This is the reward that we have. We can add a hook in here. Let's put it on uh, 90 degree. This is this side. So I need to give it a hook, give the reward hook at the end instead of start. Okay, that's great. And you can also override the size of the hook lens and let's put it on 150 and let's place it in here that's fine but from here i want to minimize it and i want to shorten it to here because this is the uh critical part of our structure and we want to have additional rebars there now we can go to here and we can copy this one from here to here and then i will select these two press mm for pick axis mirror and mirror it to here again select both select four of them and mm dm again for the raw mirror axis and let's mirror them in this side but in here we have a problem so we need to bring these two closer together to be able to have no clashes or to have better layouts in here let's go to 3d and let's see the result you can see let me put it on uh, wireframe but before that let's select one of the rebars and then right click select all rebar in host and now let's select these ones too and now let's show them on obscure to be able to see them even in hidden light and now you can see the rebars in here which are great okay now let's go to the uh, let's go to the uh, side section again I just want to copy these in here because they are in exact shape and the only thing is, the only difference is the length of them let's go to 3d because it would be much easier to select them let's select one of the big ones which are which is this and then uh, right click and select all similar visible in view because there are no other rebar with two, uh, 19 uh, radius that uh, that's the reason that we can select them in this way. let's go to the side again and now let me just mirror it in a random place because I don't have the exact uh, po middle point of this part so I'm just going to copy it in a random place and then let's bring it to here and the next part is to select one of them and extend it to here because this uh, beam is longer we need we need to make these longers too okay that's great let's go to 3d and let's go in here and I just want to show you another trick which you can use uh, which you can uh, you can see this through because you have to go to the wireframe and we have to select all of them and then check the view on obscured option for them too now let's go to hidden line again and now you can just uh, use align to bring these at the exact placement of this one so let's press a l and let's select this part and i want to align this auxiliary bar to the place that we have if you want you can select all of the 90 19 uh, size rebars and give them an override to another color to be able to differentiate them much easier for example let's select let's put it on put them on maybe a light yellow maybe and that's great and now you can see them much easier in here and can do the exact thing with the strips too to have a right color the better option is to create filters but because for the sake of the tutorial i'm not going to filter i'm not going to create any filter for them let's add the final part for this part for auxiliary rebars over here and here but before to do that make sure to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues and tell me if you want more videos about detailing or rebar detailing in the comment and if you want to get access to all of the exercise files and additional resources make sure to check our patreon page you can find the link in the description okay now let's go to the let's go to this part and now let me just select one of them again 
and let's create a copy again to some place around here and don't want to I don't want this one to have any hook so I will just put the hook on none and then we have a edit a sketch option in here which we can edit the sketch of it and let's bring it in here and from this side I want to have it in here too okay that's great let's click on finish and the next part is to copy this uh, to the right place so I need to bring my section to here again and let's go to the section now in here let's copy it and let's place it in the right way okay let me select both of them mm for mirror and select four of them again and dm for draw axis mirror and now we have them in here let's go to 3d and let's see the results these are the ones that we added you can change their colors too but i'm not going to do that now let's go to the let me do a selection like this and then i want to bring out this strips from the selection and i just want to have the auxiliary bars now let's go to the side section and let's just copy them from this part to this part and now we have to we need to modify their lenses because we have we want additional lenses in here and also we, have, we want less uh, lens in this part so for that i'm going to i have to select one of them and let's bring it to here and from this side too let's bring it here and the last step is to go to the 3d maybe it is better to change the colors again okay that's fine and this is for this one it's okay this one is uh you can see this one is shorter and let's press a l for align and let's align these together and make sure to check the multiple alignment to make your much you make, make your work much easier and we are done with the modeling and for 3d if you want to create some 3d images make sure to go to the graphic display and make sure to turn off the ambient shadows and also you can put it on shaded and then you can turn off the show edges it will be much easier to see them and even you can create a section box around them let me select these two together let's create a section box and you can see the great detailing that we made together and you can just create some dimensions or you can go to the annotation tab and you can create some multi rebar i don't want any leader and you, you can select the strokes and create dimensions for them very easily and if you want to learn how to create varying rebars for complex shapes make sure to watch this video in here and make sure to subscribe and like this video too